so you are in a situation you are going forward with your time but as in any path of life you may find you are tempted to try this way that way this way that way possibly a do-over there are many avenues to get from here to there what we would like to show you is a meditation technique to travel several timelines. So we invite you to relax. Close your eyes. Your assistant your librarian and beloved angel are here with you to hold your hands or keep their hands on your shoulders as you go forward with this journey. So invite yourself to become relaxed, aligned. You are aligned. The energy flows through you like a line of energy down through your head, through your body, and down. And when you look ahead of you, your awareness sees a line that goes forward, a time line. So give yourself a moment to invite your timeline to reveal itself. And we know you'll see this because we are at the other end of your timeline. and We are calling to you. Just follow the energy of our voice. And you see the line of time between us. This line of time may look like a thin thread, possibly glowing golden thread, or it may look like a stream, like a river stream or a stream of energy or a light beam. And you may see, just as with any energy grid, there are lines that cross through it and go in different directions. So take a moment, invite the timeline to present itself to you. You may ask your librarian and your angel to help assist with this matter. Again, we are at the other end of your timeline, projecting our energy to you and calling you forward to us. You may feel yourself being coaxed, coerced, hold. With timelines, you do not need to stay outside. We invite you to go into your timeline, into the energy that flows between you and us, ever pulling and carrying you to us. In the timeline, you may feel like you're on a boat floating down a river of energy, or you may feel like you are inside the core of time, maybe flowing through a tube. Connect yourself inside the timeline and flow with it. 
let your senses awaken Of course, we are calling you through a time channel of love and well-being. You may feel this energy. It's pleasant. As you are flowing, you will see there are sometimes openings to your one side or an other or above or below as other time streams are crossing through or as this timeline may wish to split. You can be aware that there's different energies to these other lines of time. You will see one is filled possibly with anger and hatred, and it takes the timeline to another direction completely. Ignore that. Be aware of it but do not be tempted. And you will see other timelines filled with cohesion or filled with experiment. Quite a few include illness and revolutions many revolutions. Be aware of these timelines. We will give you a moment. Allow yourself to travel down one or two of these lines, but when you wish, say, return me, and you will be back in your primary channel. Take a moment and explore. Feel the emotions that rise in you. Now return to the primary time stream and again imprint with the feeling of flowing what senses awaken within you. Feel how there is a closeness between us. You may even feel when you're in this space like you are lighter, more airy. And please leave the timeline pull out, but keep your observation upon it. As you pull out, you will see that one thread was one of many that go in many directions. A grid, a time grid. You have been traveling one line in an extraordinary grid. And if you pull back further, you will see that the grid is multi-dimensional. It is not linear. It is not flat. 
it is three dimensions, four dimensions, 20 dimensions, a thousand dimensions, endless dimensions, where time flows through all dimensions. And if you pull back further, you may see how all time began through love and curiosity and all time will complete with love and enlightenment. Now, please, our little meditative exercise, the lesson is complete. Compose yourselves, and we are prepared to answer questions. I have a question. Yes. What is the difference between Short-term timeline and long-term timeline. Short-term timeline may be just today or this week. The actions that you take in the moment may impact your day, but not your life. The choices you make today, your short-term, what do you eat? Where do you go? What do you wear? While meaningful in the moment for your current ease, are not so relevant with your long-term existence, will most likely be forgotten. However, the choices that you make impact the strength and integrity to your long-term timeline. If you, every day, bring as much love into your life as you can, you will find yourself learning your karmic lessons with greater ease. If you feel the time flow and you go with it, you will learn when you are being stuck and find ways to extricate yourself before you become too stuck. This is where your short-term decisions can impact your longer-term existence. Then when you die and connect again with your soul family, you will be able to share your many experiences with them as you plan your next life. It will be a much more evolved situation because you have accomplished so much with this. And the lessons that you bring back, your entire soul family benefits from. So everyone has an easing and a lightening of spirit. And as your soul family becomes more light, your soul friends also. So yes, even the decisions of how you live this day can magnify to impact an entire reality. However, most of us do not collect that much karma enlightenment in each day. You were not designed to be so enlightened. So do not berate yourself if 
today you watched TV and ate junk food. This is also a good karmic lesson, while not one that raises the universal frequency, it is one that brings you possibly a pleasant lesson for the now. Does this make sense? Yes, it does. Yes. So, yes. Did we yes. have any more questions? I have a yes, question. Yes, I have a question. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Um, when you, I came to the point when I felt like I came out of the tunnel and I was standing next to you this while you were talking. Yes, this was our wish. When you come through to us, you may feel the difference in the environment, in your future Earth, which is where we are now. We are in your space, but different time. Your future Earth is so much more pure and joyous. And we tell you, come to us. Collect this energy, grab it in your hands, fill your mouths, and pull it back through time with you to hear and sprinkle it about. Did my, you enjoy it? I'm sorry, my other question was, how, I did go through several of the little spouts. Some were pleasant, some were not, but are those options in our future? I didn't know what they were, even though they felt like different things. There are two things that generally happen. One is these are options, so you may explore your options and choose the one that helps create the greater harmonic frequency for your timeline. And the other thing that happens is you have concurrent lives that are making choices different from yours, but in the end, the energy comes back to one. Mm 